Happy Friday. Thanks for joining us on Midday. It's Friday. I, <laughs> I am so super excited because... I have two of my most favorite people yeah. in the uh, chairs today in the blue room <laughs> between our two non firms. Well, you know, I think between the yellow, the black, and the white, we look like we're fixing to go to the Kmart and have our pictures <laughs> taken. We are ready for the photo op. Yeah. I, I like we'll, it. We'll have I'm to excited. do our photo. We'll post that. Just like, you know, photo. the ones where you look away. Yeah, it's like Charlie's <laughs> Angels. You have to put the hands under your chin. Oh, yeah. That, That's the real We photo. need cats. I feel like we need kittens. Well, I don't know about Boas. Oh, yeah, We're going to okay. go, except I, I can't even say words. Maria Montgomery, Jason hey, Smith. Hey, y'all. I wish you could see how um, intricate these sandhill cranes are. It's and they have amazing. babies. Like there's even texture here. We have yeah. some glitter action. There's glitter. There's texture. I know why you wear that jacket now, so that why? people will feel you. They touch me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I know you're tricked. I know, know about all that, but okay. I know you're tricked, Jason. <laughs> so those cranes are yes. in my yard at home. Not are they like, really. Yeah, not. They're like live. Not they live walk ones. through. Oh, I was no, like, live ones. ones. Oh, live ones. Yeah, they come through. They come up to the door and they they're they're so they pretty. They're door. wanting fed. They're protected. Well, yeah. I don't think you're allowed to feed them, but we do. Because they're babies, they always have two that come along. I don't know where I'm going. Should be living in the middle of a Yeah, and they come to your door? Yeah. Not here, in oh. Florida. Oh, oh, okay. I was I totally confused. I was Duh. like, no, these are not in Kentucky. I know better. That's what I was going to say. I don't think they're Kentucky yeah. birds. They're protected. Yeah. And they're sweet and cute. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to stop oh, now. Good. I don't know where yeah, we're going. Yeah, unless they get in your ponds and they eat yeah. all your fish. I guess. Yeah, that's not good. That just ruins my day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How are y'all doing today? Ooh, y'all. Y'all, hey. She's picking up on She's it. Picking She's picking up, up, sister. We have She's two Kentuckians up. now. <laughs> Jason and Maria has been uh, trying to educate me on <laughs> on the ways. <laughs> on the ways, the y'all. On the ways, the y'all. It's and yeah. All y'all. All y'all. It's so yeah. much easier. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't yeah. know why anyone says you all. I don't so either. That's too, that's too long. You guys. You guys. You guys. That's New Jersey. No. Stop. That's yeah. uh, yes. Yeah, that's New okay, Jersey. Okay, you guys, stop. <laughs> Y'all. <Yeah. laughs> all right. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna go way down south to a place we all love. I know this. Yes, oh, I know yeah. you. Mm -hmm. South Beach. Yes. Parties, yes. right? You yes. think parties? You think uh, I miss, Ocean I miss south Drive? Beach. Yeah. So yeah. pretty. Ferraris and Lamborghinis. I was just there a couple weeks ago. I and miss living in your there. Ferrari. It was good yeah. time. Well, I wasn't in a Ferrari, but I was in a convertible. So. Hey, that counts. That counts. All right. Well, this guy that we're going to talk about, he went viral for all the right reasons, and it was not his car, and it was not a splash down in Southeast. Joshua Caraway, he's a freshman at the University of West Georgia. He went to Miami Beach for spring break. All right. Not your usual in the club picture there, is it? No. He no, no, no. decided to use spring break to clean up the beach. I mm. love this. I do too. And you know, it's one of those things that just shows you that that kids still have meaning behind their lives. Yes. Uh, this is so amazing yeah. to me because he tried to get his friends, I guess, you know, they all go to the beach. Um, because we have all lived in Miami, we know the beaches mm -hmm. are a little bit of a distraction. Mm -hmm. A little bit. They're topless, just it, in case anybody wondered, some of them. If you get some of them to roll over, he could probably pick up the garbage they're laying all over. <laughs> but I don't know how he picked it up. Look at all them people. Yeah, it there's, is, it is chaos. I, whenever I live there, you can even drive down ocean without people mm -hmm. submerging no. in a car. Mm -hmm. And so much less on the actual beach. Yeah, so, so the fact this guy's doing it, and it looks like he's probably down again, if you haven't been there, down below like fifth is where mm -hmm. it's really busy. Mm -hmm. and and um, his friends would not do it. They thought he was crazy. And when somebody asked him why he was doing it, he said he just really thinks, you know, he thinks that we should protect our oceans and our beaches. Mm -hmm. And he has a lot of respect for the environment. And that's what he'd rather do than sit there and, that's and lay awesome. down. Instead of go, go to the parties and whatnot. Yeah. But you know, you could still do that and still get a suntan. That's right. Yeah. So it's not like you're giving <laughs> up your vacation. You're still in Miami. You're, you're helping the environment and getting a tan all at the same time. Well, and it's just, I mean, it's, yeah. I, I just, I really, really respect this guy. I do too. I completely My agree. mom yeah. <laughs> puts crazy things on Facebook. I don't know it. But this one wasn't crazy. I find, <laughs> I kind of don't look at some of them. <laughs> She's probably watching. <laughs> but this one, we, we live near the beach, and there's an initiative going around down there that every time you go to the beach, pick up at least five pieces of trash. Oh, yeah. I love that. And I, I think that's really, really cool because yeah. there's nothing worse than going to the beach and seeing and stuff all over. And especially and spring break time because, you know, that's yeah. when they get trashed so much more than normal. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. so the kudos fact that he's doing to you. this is awesome. Maybe right. we'll take a trip and do a show down there. And I think that's a great idea. We can pick up garbage as we do the shows. Yeah. <laughs> Sign me up. All right. We're going to talk about a different kind of a 
Barbie? Experience. Oh. Well, I don't know. Survivor. <laughs> oh. Oh boy. Now would you, would you do it? Survivor. Would you would you guys do it? I have a friend that did Survivor, a I, close friend. Um and it it seems pretty vicious. Um I don't I would have to think about it. All right. Well, Girl, I wouldn't have to think about it. I was gonna it. say I have a feeling mm-hmm. this answer. I do it. <laughs> you would do it? Yeah. Okay. I, I think I, it'd be I'm uh, used to doing reality shows. Yeah, um, that's true. But are you are you used to conditions like this? You're used to being foo food and having <laughs> craft <laughs> services, <laughs> yeah. having your own trailer. I know how that works. This is true. Survivor, not yeah. so much. People yeah. are coming forward now and they're talking about what it does to their body. Of course they win a million dollars if they win, but they have some really, really crazy stuff happen. Some of the awful experiences they mm-hmm. took away. Extreme weight loss, bug bites, <laughs> tangled hair. That well, doesn't I wouldn't really have to worry about the hair part. <laughs> but you have like these Horrible. like vicious diseases <laughs> and you have some knots in your hair. You know, <laughs> they can come to Kentucky and get all that. I was going to say, that's not convincing. That's an everyday <laughs> thing. Yeah. What are they talking yeah, about? Yeah, it's not convincing. Yeah. Um, hmm. All right, well, listen to some of these ailments. Parasites, tapeworms, hookworms, sprained ankle turned into elephant's foot, oh. massive infections that lead to hospital visits, tons and tons of things. You're mm-hmm. on these gorgeous, gorgeous islands, right? Yeah. You can't eat. I read through each one of these stories. There were probably about 10 contestants on it. All of them lost at least 25 pounds. Hey. Yeah, I believe it. <laughs> hey, hey, I'm like, hey, that's a good weight loss <laughs> well, program right there. But on the flip, when they came back, they gained it, and now they've had problems. Oh, Their weight I keeps fluctuating yeah. because it's because, too extreme. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I believe that. My, my friend said that, like, the the camera crew would, you know, just be sitting there snacking as they filmed. No. Yeah. Oh. And, like, she truly could not get the food. Like, you think, you know, that this all smoke and mirrors. And I'm sure there's, you know, there, you know there's a helicopter on that island ready to oh, yeah. fly right. away if something yeah. happened. But at the same time, apparently some of it is legit in those regards. Has yeah. anybody ever gotten jumped from the crew that's eating? Like, these people are hungry <laughs> and know. mad. I'd, I'd you get hangry. That hangriness might do it. I'd say it's their contract, you know. Some, that they can't yeah. attack people? If you can't, yeah, that you can't do certain things or you're... Yeah, out of there. Yeah. Well, and then they were oh. talking about like they maybe eat. Uh, one guy, he was a pescatarian. Mm-hmm. He knew that he wouldn't be able to eat much, so he started preparing his stomach like a couple weeks before trying to eat. Now, meat. what on earth is a pescatarian? <laughs> you eat fish. You eat fish. Oh, okay. You I thought fish? you were going to eat pesticides or something. I didn't know what it was. A pescatarian. That might be. It's called oh. a fishitarian. A fishitarian. A I like that. Fish-a-tarian. Like a fish. Yeah, I feel like you need more of an accent if you're going to go well, there. If you're gonna, but if you're going to live on a beach and you eat fish, then you ought to be set to Well, go. but you have, that's the thing. Like, you may not catch one. Oh. Yeah, it's not just because like you're in the ocean. There. Like you mean. have to stab them. Yeah. Like not what is that called? I don't know. Gigging. Frog, frog gigging. gigging. I know about gigging. Yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> they'd say like maybe they found a snail and they would eat a snail, and yeah. that's it. So they were not eating hardly anything, yeah. and then the the bugs in their stomach. Yeah, that's a different problem. Did your friend mm-hmm. come home with any any Bugs. issues? No, and she she did pretty well. So she she was there for a while, and no, she really didn't have any. Hmm. Did she have tangled hair? Probably. Yeah. Yeah. I think she like I said, hair. I wouldn't let's, have problems. Let's with that. talk the big problems. <laughs> 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 All right. Let us know. This is on Facebook, and you can go through and read a lot of the contestants. One even one. He said it was worth it. Everything was totally yeah. worth it yeah. for that million dollars. Go through. Let us know what you would do what you would put up with, all that kind of stuff, if you would attack the crew people. I would. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Jason says it's in your contract not to. Yeah, when, does that, contract. when does that yeah. matter? Yeah. <laughs> Contracts. <laughs> all right, this story's fun. Um, I think it's, I don't know. A mother did not get the reaction she thought she would after writing a letter in the Notre Dame student newspaper about the girls on campus. Are you ready for this? Oh. They were wearing Leggings. Mm. <gasps> the wow, horror. Awful. She wrote, and these are her words, you couldn't help but see those blackly naked rear ends. <laughs> I just like when people say <laughs> rear ends. I didn't want to see them, but they were unavoidable. How much more difficult for young guys to ignore them? She then asked for the young women to quote, think of the mothers of sons the next time you go shopping and consider choosing jeans instead. Wow. What? More than 1,000 students at the university decided to wear leggings in protest. It goes back to the age-old question, are leggings pants? I think it goes back to the age-old question is, who is Uh. this lady to think her son (laughs) can't control himself? Yeah, this is one of those situations. I mean, well, first of all, what? Hello. Uh, First of all, you you have to, I mean, you you can wear the leggings. 
But you have to know how to dress with the leggings. I agree. Like a longer shirt. That's what I was going to say. My rule is if there's yeah. not pockets, then the shirt has to be longer. Yes, exactly. If there are pockets, mm -hmm. or if they're athletic, like if they're thicker with yeah. like the stripes or the seams, I feel like you can get by with shorter shirts. But, but should this lady yeah. even, okay, yeah. what makes me mad and what would do, what I would do in protest, the same mm -hmm. thing as these people, I wouldn't be happy about it, but I'd be wearing the crop top and leggings yeah. <laughs> and not, that's never what I would wear in real life or ever. Or if she ever shows up like that, I'll kill her. I'm going to do those, <laughs> those moves that were on there as well. No, no. Just some, just some <laughs> stretching. <laughs> no, it's ridiculous. I mean, to, yeah. to write. You it, know, it goes a letter to that. Well, it. and they talk about the rape culture because it, this is probably a subject that is so we need way more time mm -hmm. to talk about, and we don't like to get very serious, but we're going to. If a girl dresses a certain way, does that make her more susceptible no. to being attacked, no. catcalled, raped? No, it's not. It's n like it doesn't matter what you wear. Nobody should ever be treated that way. No. I don't care if you're wearing Daisy Dukes and mm -hmm. all you can see is hair hanging out. It doesn't matter. <laughs> That's just not. Is that a Kentucky thing? That's a Kentucky thing. But still, you know, I mean, still, yeah, these young girls know how to wear leggings because I've seen them. Yeah. They know how to wear them. Right. It's the, it's the middle aged that's out of college that don't know how to wear them. I mean, half of them looks like they've been greased down with Crisco we and be, they've jumped into it. Should we take it. offense to this? <laughs> no, we're not, mid, we're not middle aged. Trust me. I've never seen you in leggings. Or you. But. It, it's all about how you wear them and how you carry yourself. You should I be do doing agree. high kicks and squats like yeah. our video. My thing is, is what was this mom wearing? That's, well, I That's just want to know. Yeah. Her letter asked the women to think of the mothers of sons. Like, the sons can't control themselves. What? Well, yeah, you can't blame the victim no. for being, you know. No. I'd blame the mother for not exactly. teaching her son to yeah. be a chauvinistic pig, you in the words to. of... <laughs> uh, right. Saved the, by the bell. The moms have to teach their it's sons funny. what to do. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's, uh, let us know what you and think. And you can't shelter them forever. Like, you're eventually going to be around That's somebody. Not That's not shelter right. anyway. Yeah. That's yeah. ridiculous. Plus, jeans half the time are tighter than leggings. Yeah. Well, you have those jeggings, and they're like leggings, and they're yeah. jeans, yeah, and like they're real yeah. actually. Yeah. I'm well, real but cute with jeans. <laughs> All right, I know, what, I know what music week. video we're doing next. You're wearing jeggings. All right, these stories are all up on our Facebook page. Stay with us. We're going to.